What's up everybody, it's Murder Beats here and I'm about to be playing Brackets by Complex Hip Hop Edition. We got four categories today. We got Top 100, we got Best Rapper on the West Coast, Best Rapper on the East Coast, and the Best Rapper of the Decade. The category I'm gonna play first is Best of the Decade. So my criteria for Best Rapper is definitely like the legacy, definitely like originality, voice, and I'd say like, probably like beat selection and like style. It's like, there's like, there's like too much. The name, right? So the first one is Wale vs. J. Cole. Man, these guys are both dope. Definitely gonna have to go with J. Cole though. Um, I feel like he has like more of a global impact. Wale's super dope though, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Wale. I'm definitely gonna go with J. Cole. Sorry, Wale. Next one is Drake versus Mac Miller. You know, RIP Mac. I remember like being in like eighth grade, ninth grade, listening to Mac Miller all the time. Kool-Aid and frozen pizza, all that shit, you know? Drake definitely is the biggest of this generation and maybe of all time. So I'm gonna have to go with Drake. He just knows how to make a hit, man. You know, he's a good person. He's influential. Um, it's too much, you know? Next one is Lupe Fiasco and Kendrick Lamar. Definitely gonna have to go with Kendrick. He's just a beast, really, you know? No Name versus Nipsey Hussle. So I got a story about Nip. So about six years ago, my first time in LA, um, he was one of the first rappers I got in with. I DM'd him on Twitter. I was like, yo, like I'm in LA, let's work. He's like, well, all right, pull up to the studio tomorrow at 3 p.m. So I pulled up on him. Um, that was the first time I met him. We made Grinding All My Life. So that was kind of like an old song. I made that six years ago in LA. Uh, probably re released what like a couple years ago. He wanted me to like update the beat and stuff But I was like it was such an old beat. I didn't have the stems and stuff. I was like man Just leave it how it is and you know um, Very grateful and blessed to have met him. I'm grateful to be a part of his album and like Even now just like this year and last year is here and like grinding on my life everywhere Like in the NBA playoffs everywhere. It's on like Netflix shows. It's, it's getting synced in a lot of stuff so Definitely gonna have to go with my boy Nip, you know what I'm saying? RP Nip. Young Thug versus Remy Ma, Young Thug. It says the most unique rapper in the game right now. And he's definitely one of the most influential rappers as well. Um, he's got his own style. He's just a very smart guy, like real shit. Like I've been able to have some like real deep conversations with him. And yeah, he's just a really good person and great rapper. And he makes amazing music. Jay-Z versus Tyler the Creator. Definitely Jay-Z. Um, Tyler the Creator is really dope though. He's very um, inspirational. Um, he impacts like the youth like crazy. But you know, Jay-Z is definitely like one of the main role models of hip hop, you know? And I think one of the main role models coming from music period. So yeah, Jay-Z. Damn, this is probably the toughest one. Two Chains versus Schoolboy Q. I like both these guys' music. Never really got a chance to release anything with Schoolboy Q. We've been in the studio and worked on some stuff. Two Chains, on the other hand, we have multiple, um, multiple platinum records. We got 4 A.M. We got It's a Vibe, um, and we got um, Bigger Than You with Drake and Quavo. I feel like Two Chains had a bigger impact on the rap game. He's been around longer. He definitely has a lot of hits, a lot of hits. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with 2 chains. All right, so the next one is Chance the Rapper versus Future. Um, you know, Chance the Rapper makes some amazing music and he's a good person. But Future's also a good person that makes some amazing music. And he's probably top three most influential rappers of this decade, so I'm gonna have to go with Future. And I was just bumping at him all yesterday, so. So we're in the Elite Eight right now. The first one is J. Cole versus Drake. And these are two of the greatest guys of this decade, but I'm definitely gonna have to go with Drake. So the next one is Kendrick Lamar versus Nipsey Hussle. And this is like a West Coast battle. I'm definitely gonna go with Nipsey Hussle. I feel like he's had a bigger impact on the world, on a global scale. I'm about to go nip. Damn, 
So this is this is Young Thug versus Jay Z. Um, this is this is of this decade, right? So if this is of this decade, I, I have to say Young Thug. I feel like Thug's more influential in the last decade, right? Jay Z's been more influential to um, like the business side and like the entrepreneurship side outside of music and in music also he's been influential but i feel like young thug is one of the most influential rappers definitely of this decade and one of the hottest right now so i'd have to say young thug yeah this is a good one two chains for the future two chains definitely had a lot of hits but future is one of the goats of atlanta you know what i'm saying like they're these guys are both legends of atlanta you know what i'm saying but I'm gonna have to go with Future. Future just got, I don't know, like, 2 Chainz got like the craziest punchlines and stuff. Future's got some of the craziest bars, you know, I don't know, it's, just, it's tough, but I'm gonna have to go with Future. All right, so now we got the semifinals. We got Drake versus Nipsey. I'm gonna have to go with Drake. Um. Yeah, Drake's just huge, man. <laughs> Damn. On the other side, we got Young Thug versus Future. Man, these guys are both very original rappers, you know? I always say that, like, I feel like, you know, 2013, 2012, 2014 was a great time for music, period, because of Future, Young Thug, and the Migos. I feel like a lot of like, like I feel like that's like when like hip hop kind of got refreshed in the last little bit. Um, but out of these two, um, damn, this is a tough one though. You know, these guys, these guys collaborate together on albums. You know, this is a decade list, right? What is a decade from? 2010. We can't just package these guys up as super slimy or some shit. <laughs> you know, Future's been around a little longer. Um, he's had little waves before. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have to go with Future, man. Yeah, so we're at the final bracket, you know what I'm saying? We got Drake and we got Future. A lot of these guys have done a lot for music in general, especially hip hop. They're both influential. Um, one is like one of like the top like trap artists, and then the one is like the biggest artist <laughs> in music. Um, so this is like for the decade, right? Can we take a break. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. So we're just gonna have to go, you know what I'm saying? With um hometown, home country. You know what I'm saying? I ain't from Atlanta, so Drake. There's gotta be like confetti and shit. Oh you guys already got it. I'm pretty happy with this, you know? This is for the last decade, so man, whenever you see Drake in a bracket. You know, it's kind of difficult. I don't know if he was definitely the most influential. I think he definitely was the best of the decade. Um, I honestly feel like, I feel like now if we're talking current, I feel like Travis Scott's definitely the most influential. And especially even with the Migos too. Like I feel like the Migos that were very influential too. All right guys, so you just watched the first episode of Complex Brackets with Murder Beats. And you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, man. We got a lot of new music coming out. I got some like unexpected music coming out. That's the one thing I'm gonna say, you know? Um, this quarantine has definitely brought the best out of me. I've been working on a lot of different styles of music. I'm definitely getting creative with it. And definitely got a really big record coming out. Probably around when this drops, so. Yeah, you know, just having a little fun with it. Spicing things up, so. Sir, be on the lookout.